All right, Jokario, what is your game? A guessing game. Okay. Okay, you need to guess Rami's favorite Pokemon. You have 10 questions uh, that she can relate to you with yes or no. And then you get three guesses. If you guess correctly, I'll sub gift three random people. Oh my gosh, okay, the pressure is on. Do I have any. Is there any rules? Like, can I- I probably can't look at, at the Pokedex if that is, uh, correct. I guess you can if you want. No, 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 I'm gonna- I'll give myself a little bit of a restriction. Ooh. <laughs> I'm- I'm- I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, ten qu ten questions. Okay, I'm gonna have to be very smart with this. Okay. Uh, I kinda wanna get a piece of paper. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. Uh, to- to make sure I don't f or you know what? I probably won't forget. I probably won't- you know what? No. No piece of paper. Screw that. Okay. Question one. Is it a Pokemon that is available in Sword and Shield? Including DLC. Hopefully that'll be- yes it is. Oh no! Man, this is like, uh, what's the board game? Uh, it's like, uh, Guess Who. It's like Guess Who. This is literally just Guess Who. <laughs> okay, so it's a Pokemon in this game that is available, so that weeds out about 300 that are, like, not available in this game. Okay. If we get some sort of typing thing, that would actually very much help out if I could randomly guess what type it is. But I kind of don't want to do that. That's gonna take away a lot of questions. Okay, second question. Is it genderless? Or does it have a gender? That could really weed things out. Okay, it's not genderless. So it has a gender. Our- our favorite Pokemon's got some- got some genitals. <laughs> this could be going out of the box here. I have a question. Question three. Male to female versions of the Pokemon. Do they change appearance? So, for example, would be, uh, something like, uh, uh, frick, what is that flying type Pokemon? <laughs> I'm forgetting my po- no, it doesn't? Okay, okay, well that- that helps, actually. <laughs> it looks the same for both genders, okay. Uh, I feel like we're getting nowhere <laughs> for this. Okay. So we've got, it's available, available in Sword and Shield, it looks the same, and it's got gender. Yes, exactly, Lev. Yeah, Venus Venusaur's flower size changes based on gender. It, you are absolutely correct with that. So it wouldn't be Venusaur. <laughs> We're weeding it out Pokemon by Pokemon. I kind of feel like, I don't, okay, I kind of feel like I might need the Pokedex for this. We'll see, we'll see. We have, we haven't... We haven't weeded out all the questions yet. That- that was three questions. I- I feel like- I feel like we're making a little bit of progress. I want to get into typing, but I'm scared to get into anything crazy yet. Okay, here's a question. Actually, no, I'm- maybe this might not be a good question to ask. Don't answer anything yet. I'm just- I'm just kind of like thinking in my head. I'm assuming it can- it can be both male and female. Because I was gonna ask- it's not- it's not a question, but, uh, I might ask it later. Uh, I was gonna ask if it's a legendary Pokemon, but a lot of legendary Pokemon are gender genderless. I could really go crazy and guess a type right now, but I don't think- I don't think that's in our best interest. Okay, here is question four. I've thought of question four. Um... Is your favorite Pokemon known for being a lightweight. Is it a Pokemon that is not heavy? Oh no, okay. 
So it is a heavy Pokemon. Rami's favorite Pokemon is sick. You could just say it's heavy, yeah. Okay, we've got it. We've we've got we've got a heavy Pokemon that can be male and female that is in Sword and Shield and the genders look the same. At least we have the knowledge it's a, it's a heavy Pokemon. That that pretty much takes away quite a lot. What would you consider as heavy? I mean, we can already rule out Snom is not heavy. <laughs> I would consider uh, Dracovish heavy. I took the liberty of defining heavy Pokemon as uh, 200 plus kg. Okay, because that's when the animation in Pokemon gives it a dust animation when they hit the field. Ah! Also, Sky Drop doesn't work on those because too heavy. Right. Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. So if I had to make a little bit of a of a mental prediction, I'm gonna say as of right now, I don't see this being a ghost type Pokemon. Because ghost type Pokemon don't usually weigh anything. So I think that rules out ghost type Pokemon. I'm not asking this as a question, I am just saying that they are relatively known for not being heavy. Same with flying type Pokemon, because flying types are in the air. So, but there are, I guess there are some flying type Pokemon that are grounded, like Cramorant. Cramorant is on the ground, but Cramorant is not a heavy Pokemon. Okay, so we're, <laughs> we've got four questions down. We have six more to go. I think we gotta get, we gotta start getting into some sort of type territory. Okay, I know my next question. I think this was a question from earlier that I was gonna ask. Um, is it a dual type? This is so much fun. <laughs> it's not a dual type. Okay. So yeah, it's not girl, it's not Golurk, because that's, that's what, Ghost Ground? That's a dual type. Okay, 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 we're, this, now I'm feeling a little bit more confident. We have. It is available in Sword and Shield, including DLC. It has a gender. Both genders look the same, and it is a single type. We have five questions down, we have five more to go. Okay, I have, an, I have, I have the next question. Get ready, question six. And I forgot it. No, 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 I have it, I have it, I have it. Okay. Question four. Oh, no, no, not four. Question six. Yes, yeah, six. <laughs> six. <laughs> Question six. Is it a fully evolved Pokemon? It is? Okay. The reason I didn't want to ask that question was because there are some Pokemon that only <laughs> have one... They, there's only one of them. Like, there's no, like, f evolution line at all. So we have... It's a fully evolved Pokemon, but that does not exclude single evolution. Now I could go, I could go into, oh, I just, I really want to get into types. I really want to get into types. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> but it's such a risk. Okay, we've discussed and we've decided, uh, we will give you the information that is, it is fully evolved, uh, and has more than one in the evolution line. Okay, so it's probably, it's a three evolution line. Or it could be two. Either way, it can evolve, which is huge. Okay, so we're at six. Okay, we still have four questions. This is good. Ask them if you can find them roaming. I could, but mm, you can find a lot of Pokemon roaming, so that doesn't really weed out a lot of Pokemon. The thing we need to do now is get it to a- we have the knowledge. We have the knowledge. The base knowledge. But now it's- it's getting that knowledge smaller. We need a smaller window of Pokemon that we can focus on. Okay. Sword and shield. Gender. Both genders look the same. Heavy. Single type. Fully evolved. Bob, you're on- you're on the right track? Actually, you- you're on- you're on to something, but not that. We can find out probably about half or so of the types it could be by asking a question very similar to that. We could ask something, for example, is it is it weak to dragon or whatever? Well, that's not really a good question. But no, we could ask it we can ask if it's like if it's weak to water. And if if the quest if the answer is yes, then we know it's a fire type. We know it's 
a ground type, a rock type, like we, we know it could be one of those types, right? I just want to figure out what type I should ask. I think we need to get a little bit risky with it. If we use the water one as an example, that narrows it down to quite a lot if it's yes. If it's no, then we'll maybe we'll just try another one. We need one where it's like it's it's kind of in the middle where like one type is super effective against a lot of types. Cuz if we can get it down to about half, that would be pretty good. What what seven types resist grass? Bug, fire, steel, dragon, poison, grass, flying. Question seven. Is the favorite Pokemon, does it resist grass? It doesn't. But that means, that means that flying, poison, bug, steel, fire, and grass, and dragon. Okay, now I kind of want to write this down. <laughs> Open drawer. A good pen. Sure, Sharpie. <laughs> I'm gonna write out our types. We have water, fire, grass, uh, normal, uh, ice, uh, flying, uh, dark, <laughs> uh, ghost. I think we can still rule out ghost as not being it. Psychic, fighting, uh, fairy, uh, poison, uh, ground, uh, rock, steel, uh, dragon, uh, electric. I have 17. What am I missing? <laughs> What am I missing? <laughs> uh, bug! <laughs> Thank you! So, flying is out of the question. Poison and bug are gone. Steel, fire, and grass, and dragon. So, out of deduction, I'm also gonna cross- I think I'm gonna cross off ghost. So we have water, normal, ice, dark, psychic, fighting, fairy, ground, rock, and electric left. If that's true, Justin, then maybe we do want to ask about the fighting. I think we're going to do it. Is Rami's favorite Pokemon weak to fighting? It is not weak to fighting, guys. It's not weak to fighting. Which means normal's gone, ice is gone. It means it's not normal ice and rock. Or dark, right? Right. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Are we actually left with two? Yo, if it's- if- if your favorite Pokemon is Wailord, I love you. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> um, okay. So with that in mind, if we ask if it's weak to electric, that gives- yeah, that basically tells us. So this will be question nine. Is it weak to electric? It isn't. Okay. So it's not water. We have fighting, psychic, fairy, ground, and electric, but with our knowledge, it would be Mudsdale. This is so fun. <laughs> I'm having such a good time with this. Mammoth Swine's dual type. Uh. I mean, I mean, Mudsdale is looking really nice. Uh, Gyarados is dual type. A Sea King is way too light. Cloyster is dual type. Milotic is water, so Milotic can't be. Uh, Garbodor is poison. I think we- I think we may- may have weeded it out. <laughs> okay. Last question. Is it a ground type? I knew it. I knew it. It's not a ground type. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Is it Mudsdale? It's Mudsdale! <laughs> Guys, it's Mudsdale! Who else wants one? Who else wants a sub? Who wants a sub? In chat. Jokario, you're amazing. Rami, you're amazing. Mudsdale is a, is a fabulous Pokemon. I shiny hunted for... Uh, a shiny mud bray back in Pokemon Moon, and it took me a long time. <laughs> Can we just take a moment though to just like thank Jokario for for that super fun game of guess guess who? <laughs> it made me it made me <laughs> think really hard about Pokemon there for a sec. You know what is also a fun game? You take a Pokemon, take their name in like German or or French, 
uh, and make other guess what Pokemon it, it is in English? Yes! Lev would be perfect for that because Lev is our French guru. He actually knows, like... Um, um, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting to get this at all today. We're gonna take this real slow. That ha that happened today, guys. That happened. We we got this. I kind of want it in a premier ball. So we're gonna try that. Actually, no, no, no. I was gonna wait. Never mind. <laughs> the whole reason I had Ball Boy out was to try a, a, a unique ball. Well, we lost the premier ball anyway. Just kidding. We didn't lose it. Oh wait, did we lose it? Haha, <laughs> No, we didn't. We got the premier ball back. We can still try. What else do we got here? We could try Love Ball. I have two. Love me! Love me! Love me! Love me! No, it doesn't love me! <laughs> it doesn't love me! This isn't how love works. <laughs> no, it's not. We're gonna have to try a little bit harder. I, st I, I still can't believe this is on screen right now. I was- I was- Preparing to do a way longer hunt for this. Does Amora have recoil coil move? No, it doesn't. I made sure it doesn't. We're not gonna be taking it down that far anyway. We'll just take it down into like the yellow. Like this is fine. Okay. Oh, moon ball would look so good too. Okay, no, 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 no. We'll try dive ball, and then when it goes to sleep, uh, we'll just yolo swag try and get it in a moon ball. <laughs> Oh yeah, dive ball looks nice. Oh, goodbye dive ball. <laughs> okay. We're doing it. We're doing it, guys. Actually, nah, nah, nah. Not, no beast ball. I love moon balls. This is moon ball worthy. The babe calls it. It was anointed. Um, it's got good IVs then. It's got some pretty good ones. Okay, where are you? Don't think you can hide from me. I guess it can. Where did it go? There it is. There it is. The quiz- yes, the quiz worked! Jokario's quiz worked! <laughs> Holy... Call him Mudsdale! <laughs> oh yes, save! Oh my gosh, yes. Save, save, save. Thank you, Bob. In a moon ball, too. Oh, does anybody have any, uh, any nature guesses? Oh my gosh. Oh, it, look at the run! Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we got sassy, we got jolly. Look at this guy! <laughs> it almost looks like he's, like, looking at it. Oh, it went through you. This is adorable. We've got adamant. We've got jolly. Brawly. It's actually pretty big for what it is. Huh? 
All right. He heard me, yeah. <laughs> All right. It could also have a mark. It could also have a mark. Okay. The nature is. Drum roll. Oh. Is that modest? It's modest. That's pretty good. All right. Does it have a mark? No. No mark. I haven't I haven't gotten a marked shiny yet, but uh I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Let's do an encounter with it. Come on, you got to keep up, Amora. Come on. Normal cryogonal and some shiny mooncake with some beautiful square sparkles. <laughs>